Welcome to the Museum of the Bible. Tickets for guided tours may be purchased from the attendant in the lobby. We hope your visit helps you learn more about the Holy Bible, God's Book of Love.
didn't go. And he was probably named like Chrissy. Nobody. They were probably cruel and stupid like you. Ooh, you flatter me. As a matter of fact, Jess, the Ninevites were bitter enemies of Israel, along with the Hittites, the Ammonites, the Amalekites, and the Moabites. And don't forget the Mosquito Bites. Probably them too, Annie. But the Ninevites were the worst. They were barbarians who'd skin people alive. Then, torture and burn them. Sounds like my kind of place. So why does God allow people like that, JJ? Yeah, why didn't he get rid of Nineveh like he did Sodom and Gomorrah? Well, God is sovereign. That means he can do anything he wants. And what God really wanted to do was get rid of Nineveh's sin. You see, the power of sin is strong. But always remember, God is stronger!
to Nineveh, where did he go? He went down to Joppa and there boarded a ship for Tarshish. That's all the way to Spain! Bomb here, I wanted to get to Nineveh. Well, Jonah wanted to get lost because he immediately had the lower back. Didn't the sailors miss him? Oh, they were so busy they didn't even notice Jonah. Hold on, we need our captain and Jonah to meet. And we need to have him like exchange the money. So that's why we need to go down at that point and watch the action. Okay? So now Jonah and the captain
Did Jonah drown? Did the storm stop? Did the sailors die? Yeah, what happened? Well, when Jonah hit the water, the storm miraculously stopped, and the sailors fell down and worshipped God.
right. I'd like to see that whale throw up old Jonah. You are so... You are so gross, buddy. It was more like gross Jonah. You can imagine what the old prophet looked like. What was seaweed and salt water and gases from inside of the fish? Hey, we don't have to imagine. We can just look at Chrissy here. Give it a break, buddy. Yeah, do you know how much everybody hates you? Yeah, just one millionth as much as I hate them. Okay, guys, okay. I think we need to get back to the story. Anyways, once more, the word of the Lord came to Jonah. Go to Nineveh! Well, did he? He did. But Jonah was not a happy camper. Yes, sir. Fire up the barbie. It's time for a wiener roast.
Rapture was going to save the Ninevites. No. It was going to destroy the Ninevites. Yeah, they didn't deserve to be saved, and neither do we. But that's just one of the ways God shows his undying love for us. Man, this is so lame. I'm gonna go get a soda. And we're gonna miss you so much. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you guys. So, JJ, what happened to Jonah? Well, Annie, let's just say he was stuck inside another kind of fish. A selfish. A shellfish? No, a selfish. Jonah, was... Jonah wanted God to destroy Nineveh so he could go home a hero. But instead, he climbed up a hill, looked down on the city, mad at God and full of hate for the people who were now his fellow believers.
Fiona got a second chance. So we could, so we could give Buddy a second chance. So we could learn from his mistakes. Well, I think I learned something. If I'm going to be a missionary, I need to love everyone, even Buddy. Yeah. Do you think God will give us a second chance with Buddy? Well, yeah, but maybe in in Buddy's uh, in Buddy's case, it might have to be a, a, a third or fourth chance. You're right, Jess, but I'm willing to try. Look, here he comes. Man, that stupid machine won't make any change. Here, Buddy, you all buy me soda. Huh? Yeah, let's all go get a snack before we get on the bus. But, hey, you'll sit next to me on the bus, won't you, Buddy? Sure, Chrissy. I mean, Chris. I guess I can make it as a missionary after all. Thanks for your help. By the way, what does JJ stand for? Would you believe her real name is Joan? Joan? Yeah, listen, you guys, I'll see you. I gotta go. Wait! Go, go, Joan, go, Joan, go, 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 Joan, go, Joan, go, go.
would like to thank so much our musicians, okay. um, Amy and Jordan. They helped me with my choirs. I'm very blessed to have them. And we have Corey and Eric uh, doing all of this. They're so and wonderful, wonderful parents. Thank you. Yes.